We're going fishing. It's 4.30 in the morning. These guys were here waiting for me. That's a good sign. Never a good sign when you gotta wait for the camera crew, so. All I need to bring is this, they tell me. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be a walleye today. Actually, this lake is fished out that we're going to, so this is mostly just to take Michael on a boat ride before he buys his own boat. <laughs> Never forget to plug in your boat. You're not going to sink, but you're going to get oh, about a quarter mile out there and you're going to wonder, where's all this water coming from? I have your camera guys helping with this, but <laughs> I want to show people that you don't need camera guys to help with this stuff. We're putting the GPS on here. Split the screen. What a TV, huh? My wife paid so much money for this operation. So when you're trolling crankbaits, the easiest way is having the wind at your back. So we're gonna go up north and we're gonna troll all the way south the wind at our back. You guys ready to get wet? Yep. You guys able to protect these cameras? So, I don't know how deep we're going to fish, but I know that if I let out 40 feet on this, it's going to be down about 9 feet. So, you got a line counter here. And there's the line spooling out. It's telling you how much line you've put out. So the whole idea is you want to replicate whatever it is you're doing. Trolling for walleyes, in my mind, is all about replicating everything. If it's something that worked this time, same depth, same speed, it should work for the next fish I go by. So, if you hear that going on and you're not holding on to the rod, it means you got a bite. I hope I've set the expectation properly. You guys probably are not going to see a walleye today. Michael is confident we are. All right. Somebody's swimming around with a my wife's favorite crankbait in their mouth. Kim's not going to be happy. I'm going to be in deep trouble, folks. <laughs> I just lost one of her favorite crankbaits. Dang it. I just used a snap. And since we don't have pike in here, I'm not too worried about any type of braided leader. Everyone knows how this knot works, right? You thread it through there, you make one overhand, you come through with the loop. And if your eyes are better than mine, you do this quite seamlessly and then you go through there, wet it. There you go. Strong a knot as you're ever gonna find. If you've trolled much, you know that what happens when when you go to land your fish and you're going this direction, your net drags back like this. And before the fish can get into it, they're tangled up in it outside here. So what you do is you take a little lanyard and you go like this. And then, once you get him in the net, you let go like that, and it slips in there. Fish? Oh yeah. Got a walleye. A lunker. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's like eight inches. <laughs> well, I think he's gonna fall through the crack of the net, Michael. You think? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure this is one way on a hand line. Yeah! Oh, look at that thing! Sorry, buddy. Woo! He might be dead the way he hit the deck there. That is a lunker! 
<laughs> He's ready to go. There you go. Or that's why. I can see it now. You. Bring out the sandwich. I, I knew it. <laughs> Bring out the sandwich. Bring out Fish the sandwich. on. Oh yeah. Oh, get the net, Michael. Don't, don't horse. Holy, holy horse, God, jeez. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh, this is the big one of the day. Woo. Oh my God. He's going to fall through the cracks in the net. <laughs> holy Mackinac. <laughs> My God! Get a load of that thing! Shoot <laughs> Oh! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That that's fourteen and a half there. <laughs> You're just knocking him out of the park, Dale. Here he Bounced it right into that sandbar. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, where's the hog trough? Oh yeah, look at that. that that'd be four, in a four tournament three that's quarter. 14 and three quarter. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Oh baby! There we go. Oh yeah. I tell you, you what, when old Dale decides he's going to start working that rod, that's bad news for him. That was fish. <laughs> what was that? That was the control mechanism for Oh, there it is. I see it floating. Good thing that floats. <laughs> what happened? Uh, when I pulled the trolling motor, I set this up there, and I forgot I set it there, and so I floored it, and we're poof, 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 and all of a sudden this goes, whoo! Uh, that's a good time. The controlling device for a $2,000 trolling motor would have been down in the drink. We got a big one. Here you go. Here's your chance, Dale. Like woo! <laughs> You don't want him? I'm only at 40 feet. I can't get him in. He might even pull the reel right off the handle. <laughs> Gotta let him go, he's foul hook. He's slightly bigger than the other one, but not by much. Oop. Oh, well. I want to get that hook in my finger. Yeah. I need to get some more slack here. All right, we're good. You want the big thumbnail? Or the, the big uh, long arm? All right, cool. Uh, I think this one might even be 13 inches. Man, I wanted you to reel that one in, Dale. He's too busy working, man. He's running the camera. He's like, no, 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 I'm working, man. All right. It's about noon. I don't know how many we've caught. Seven or eight. Only two over 14 inches. And unfortunately, I got to get back to the shop and take care of a few things this afternoon. So we only get two walleyes for Dale the camera guy to share with his lovely bride. You okay with that? I'm good with it. All right. Two it'll be. We maybe should have kept that 13 and a half incher. Maybe. Rounding error, I mean, we could have, could have made up for it, but, oh well. Anyhow, folks, that's it from slightly windy central Montana. Wish we had something bigger to show you, or more of them, but it's how it goes some days. We could have been working this morning. Wait, we were working, right, guys? Totally working. Man, we worked our you-know-what off this morning, man. It was, we were up at 3.30, drove up here. So, 
I think Michael gets more fun out of the boat ride than he does anything. <laughs> he didn't want to reel in a fish, he just wanted to ride the boat and laugh, so. All right, we're gonna go. Thanks for watching.